the queen of rock and roll, the tenacious vocalist Tina Turner, passes away at age 83. The powerful rock and soul singer Tina Turner has passed away, her family confirmed in a statement. She was one of the most well-known female performers of all time, rising from modest origins and overcoming a notoriously terrible marriage. She was 83 years old. Turner passed away on Wednesday at her home in Kusnacht, Switzerland, close to Zurich. With her, the world loses a music legend and a role model, her family remarked. She charmed millions of admirers worldwide with her music and her inexhaustible zest for life, and she inspired the stars of tomorrow. We bid a close friend farewell today, leaving behind her greatest contribution to the world, her music. Our deepest sympathies are with her family. We will miss you so much, Tina, read a message on her verified Facebook profile. Turner, a captivating live singer, and her violent and domineering husband Ike Turner enjoyed a string of R&B singles in the 1960s and early 1970s until she fled their Dallas hotel room with 36 cents. Her solo career floundered for years before she mounted a stunning comeback in 1984 with her multi-platinum album Private Dancer and its no. One hit, What's Love Got To Do With It? Before long Turner was a global superstar, commanding MTV with her spiky wigs, short skirts and famously long legs strutting across concert stages in three-inch heels. Her talent earned her acclaim as the queen of rock and roll, while her resiliency made her a hero to battered women everywhere. When she sang of pain and heartache in her husky, full-throated voice, every word rang true. For a long time I felt like I was stuck, with no way out of the unhealthy situation I was in, she told Harvard Business Review in 2021. But then I had a series of encounters with different people who encouraged me, and once I could see myself clearly, I began to change, opening the way to confidence and courage. It took a few years, but finally I was able to stand up for my life and start anew. She was born Anna Mee Bullock in 1939 to poor sharecroppers near Nutbush, Tennessee, a rural community north of Memphis that she later made famous in her autobiographical song, Nutbush City Limits. She spent her early years living with her grandmother after her parents split. We weren't in poverty, we had food on the table. We just didn't have fancy things, like bicycles, Turner said in a 2005 interview with Oprah Winfrey. We were church people, so on Easter, we got all done up. I was very innocent and didn't know much else. I knew the radio, BB, King, Country and Western, Turner said. That's about it. I didn't know anything about being a star until the white people allowed us to come down and watch their television once a week. Following the death of their grandmother in the 1950s, Turner and her sister Ruby moved to St. Louis, Missouri, to live with their mother. It was in St. Louis that she began to visit some of the local clubs and met musician Ike Turner whose band, Kings of Rhythm, were popular in the area. He recruited her at age 17 to join his band as a singer. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted Ike and Tina Turner in 1991, and she was inducted as a solo artist in 2021. In 2018, Tina, a Broadway musical based on her life story, debuted. Turner was predeceased by her two sons, Craig, who passed away in 2018, and Ronnie, who passed away in 2022. In 2021, she admitted on NBC's Today Show, some of the happiest moments in my life were the birth of my beautiful baby boys, Craig and Ronnie, and marrying my partner and soulmate, Erwin Bach. She claimed that her favorite times as a professional were when she was on stage. She told NBC that one of her early career ambitions was to become the first black woman to sell out stadiums all around the world.